What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Um, today, we're going to be breaking down DeMonte KZ. The Steelers signed him to a two-year deal earlier in free agency. Um, I had some thoughts on that at signing, um, just in general, but I wanted to break down one play that kind of perfectly explains or encapsulates why I think the Steelers went with KZ over Terrell Edmonds and you know decided to prioritize him in free agency. Just before we get started real quick, um, please make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Make sure you like the video if you like the content. All right, let's get to it. So this is from the season finale against Cleveland. I kind of wrote up the assignments here uh, for you guys on the screen. But the Steelers are playing inverted Tampa 2 against Cleveland here. Cleveland's in a three-by-one set. So this is actually third and 18. Um, obvious, you, you know, usually a punt situation uh, for the offense. But uh, KZ kind of makes an incredible play here. So he is playing the hook curl responsibility. So we're going to have a five under two deep look on defense. Um, you can kind of see they're trying to get some pre-snap disguise going here. Kind of show you what they're doing. Like Minka's kind of hanging out back here. They're trying to give the impression that this might be single high middle field closed. KZ ends up jumping a route uh, for an interception. So let's just kind of rewind this a little bit. Like I said, he's got the hook to curl zone. So they're getting a seam route from David Njoku, the inside slot receiver, and then the two outside receivers are running in breakers. All right, so Njoku, as soon as he comes off the ball, you see him look for Watson, like, hey, I'm uncovered. Go ahead and throw this to me so we can, you know, get five, six yards, get a little field position, punt this thing away. But Watson doesn't want to do that. I'm not sure if he's just not ready to throw this. Maybe he doesn't, you know, trust, you know, Njoku to catch it. Not really sure what the deal is there. Um, but he decides to hit this uh, slot receiver coming on the end breaker instead. But what I like about this, this just kind of shows um, KZ's just kind of anticipation and just, you know, his playmaking ability, man. Like, I think a lot of safeties in this uh, situation, you know, we're just trying to get off the field. It's third down. Um, let's do what we can to force a punt. But does a good job, you know, not getting too much depth because it's third and 18. Like, you know, we are we know that they're probably going to throw a check down here. Click and just close, showing the acceleration, drive on the football, drive through the receiver, you know, beats him to the spot um, and comes away with an interception. You know, that doesn't – that, you know, you could say, like, what's well, third and 18? Like, we were going to get off the field anyway. Yeah, but, like, now we're getting the ball at the 20-yard line as opposed to getting it on the other 20-yard line after a punt. You know, so that's that's some of the things I think KZ brings to the table. You know, 17 career interceptions. I'll let you guys watch this again from the end zone angle. Um, 17 career interceptions. You know, he led the NFL in interceptions, I think, his second uh, year in the league. He had – uh 17 interceptions in college, 14 um, in the pros. I mean, this is a guy who's had, you know, this type of playmaking ability throughout his career. Um, and I just think the Steelers is what the way that they're shifting on defense. You know, they're trying to make sure that, you know, they're creating those turnovers. They want aggressive playmakers in the back end. You think about Minka Fitzpatrick, one of the best playmakers in the league. And then when you combine him, you know, with a safety like KZ, who also has those playmaking chops, you know, to come in and either be that, you know, starting strong safety next to him. Um, or, you know, as the third safety um, in those three safety sets that they like to use so much last season. So um, overall, you know, really pretty plain and simple, man. Like I, I predicted that they would prioritize him over Terrell Edmonds. And the big reason why is I just thought the ball skills um, are there for KZ. That's never been a, um, a strength of Terrell Edmonds. And I think that that ultimately was probably the deciding factor because the two were going to probably get uh, similar deals in free agency short term. Uh, really low money deals, um, you know, in comparison to one another. So, like I said, I think the ball skills just were the deciding factor in that. So, uh, if you guys like this quick breakdown, just please uh, make sure you uh, like the video. Make sure you subscribe to the channel for more. Leave a comment if you like it. Let me know uh, what you guys think of the signing overall. So, appreciate you guys for staying till the end. Peace.